everyone, welcome to this product video from Optimal Ninja. Today we're going to be having a look at Easy Imbalance, which is part of our new Optimal Order Flow pack. Optimal Order Flow is a suite of tools designed to make your trading with order flow much simpler. I'll show you how we've replaced traditional order flow charts like this with super powerful yet minimalist charts like this, making it much easier for you to act on order flow signals as they happen. But first, for those of you not familiar with order flow, a very quick primer. Order flow trading is a method of modeling the market using transactional level data rather than data sampling. What do I mean by this? Well, let's say we're trading with simple moving average. The average is sampling a single data point on each bar, usually the close of the bar, in order to construct the average. The intention of this is simple. We want to filter out unnecessary detail and isolate what is important so that we have a good model of the market. In this case, the slope of the moving average is our model. This process of filtering out detail to build models is known as abstraction, and it is a characteristic of all traditional indicators, even the price bars themselves. Everything you see on this chart is a pictorial representation of thousands of individual trades compressed together in the hope that the simplified model is superior. Now, it's certainly easy to analyze this and analyze all the individual trades, but there's one big problem with highly abstracted models, and that's the dreaded signal lag. Because our moving average is sampling only the close of the bar, it's going to need multiple bars to change slope, and often by the time it's changed signal, the move is over. We've all encountered this, and it's a frustrating experience. So today I'm going to show you a better model of intraday trading that gets you as close as you can to trading without lag. So what does an order flow chart look like? Well, typically order flow charts tend to look like this. It's basically a kitchen sink approach where just about every metric imaginable has been put on the chart, and it's up to us poor traders to try to make sense of it all during a live market. Now for me, this simply swaps one problem for another. Instead of too little detail, we now have too much. It's information overload, and in my view, it's next to impossible to trade with. So the first thing we're going to do is strip this right down and isolate probably the most useful concept in order flow trading, and that's imbalance. Here we have a regular candlestick bar overlaid with what's known as a footprint. A footprint can be thought of as an X-ray into the underlying trades within the bar. For this section, I'm using NinjaTrader's own footprint chart just so we can zoom in on the levels. Each vertical level is an individual price within the bar, and each price level has two numbers attached to it. On the left side, we have the number of contracts traded at the bid, and on the right is the number of contracts traded at the ask. When a buyer enters a long trade with a market order, his trade is posted to the ask side, and when a seller enters a short trade with a market order, his trade is posted to the bid side. The idea behind this is to gauge the relative strength of buyers and sellers at each level within a bar. So at this price level, for instance, we had 10 contracts traded at the ask and two contracts traded at the bid, so buyers were stronger. And at this level, we had five contracts traded at the ask and 10 contracts traded at the bid, so sellers were stronger. Now, there is more to it than that, but to keep this presentation relatively short, we will explore more detailed analysis in a subsequent video. So what is imbalance? Imbalances occur where there are differentials between buying and selling. The bar on the screen has large buy imbalances highlighted in green and large sell imbalances highlighted in red. Imbalances are generally calculated diagonally so that we are comparing the trades at the bid and the ask across two adjacent price levels. So for instance, looking across the two levels here, we have 10 contracts traded at the bid and one contract traded at the ask so that we have a large sell imbalance, 10 times as many contracts at the bid than the ask. And at this level, we have 55 contracts traded at the ask and 10 contracts traded at the bid so that we have a large buy imbalance over five times as many contracts at the ask than the bid. By now, you might be wondering how this information is useful. The point is this, because imbalances are a measure of aggression, they are an excellent method of tracking market sentiment. Ideally, we want to see buying imbalances at the start of and during uptrends and selling imbalances at the start of and during downtrends. And because the levels themselves can show high degrees of market participation, they can act as support and resistance. Later, we'll be focusing on specific trading setups, but firstly, let's take a look at the unique features of optimal imbalance. You'll immediately notice that optimal imbalance doesn't show bid ask numbers, which are often difficult to make sense of in real time. Instead, we use circle plots to show imbalance levels. As before, on the left of each bar, we have sell imbalances, and on the right, we have buy imbalances. The circles are plotted in two sizes. Currently, we have smaller circles showing imbalances above 100%, that's a bid to ask ratio of two, and larger circles showing imbalances above 200%, that's a bid to ask ratio of three. The obvious benefit of this is that we can now 
now easily see larger and smaller imbalances, and we can see these levels right across the chart without needing to zoom in to read numbers, which order flow tools generally require you to do. Now you can customize the size of the imbalances you'd like to see by simply changing the threshold setting in indicator properties. So for example, if we want to see very large imbalances greater than 500%, for example, we simply enter 500 in the threshold field. Now the larger circles show only imbalances above 500% in size. You can do this independently for both imbalance plots so that you have freedom to mix and match the signals that you'd like to see. We've also added a second really powerful feature which enhances the strength of these signals further, and that is relative volume filtering. One of the problems with imbalance signals generally is that they're not all equal. For instance, we might have two imbalances that are both 100% in size, but one has 80 contracts traded in total, and another has just eight. Clearly, the imbalance with 80 contracts is more significant, but just by looking at the plots, there's no way to tell them apart. Now, in the past, order flow tools have attempted to mitigate this problem by allowing you to filter imbalance levels by absolute size. For instance, filtering the signals by 25 contracts or 50 contracts or whatever. Unfortunately, there is a big challenge with this approach. How do you know the filter size to use? Firstly, the size varies between markets. Secondly, the size varies over time, both between sessions and during a session. And thirdly, the process depends on visual appraisal to get right, which can be a hit and miss affair. So instead of using absolute volume, optimal imbalance uses an adaptive approach. It tracks total volume on a rolling look back basis and filters out all imbalance levels that have low relative volume. The beauty of this feature is that because it's a rolling calculation, your imbalance signals are now responding to changes in trading volumes throughout the day so that you have an adaptive signal and not a static signal. And it works across different markets, so you no longer need to estimate which filter to use. You can simply load optimal imbalance onto any chart and it will auto filter the imbalance levels for you. I've used this a lot myself in my own trading and I can tell you it is way more effective than manual filtering. But that's not all. In order to make the signals even clearer, we've gone one step further with something really cool, and that's auto bar colouring. The bars are painted by our groundbreaking indicator Easy Imbalance. Easy Imbalance automatically highlights imbalance setups. It scans imbalance plots for 16 separate conditions and colours your bars accordingly in real time. This means that you can act upon information much more quickly than other traders who are trying to interpret numbers manually. It's a really amazing piece of work from our head programmer Louis and I'm very excited to finally unveil it. So in part two of the video we'll be looking at easy imbalance in detail and I'll be showing how simple it is to locate swing and scalp setups in some recent market sessions. So thank you for your time today. I hope you found this presentation interesting. My name is Richard. I look forward to sharing part two with you shortly. In the meantime for more information head over to our website at optimalninja.com and as always all the best with your trading.